Hello lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my latest video. In today's video I'm going to decorate my house for spring and Easter. The first thing I always do when I'm decorating is lay out everything that I've got on my dining table. So these are all the bits. Most of them are used from previous years and a couple of things are new. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what I've got and think about where I want to put everything. Then I'm going to prepare my surfaces. So I'm just going to use a flash cleaning spray and a microfiber cloth. And I'm going to go over every surface that I'm going to be decorating today, making sure that I've cleaned it, got rid of any marks and got rid of any dust as well. There's no point decorating unless the surface is dust free. On this little Ikea console here, I'm going to put my faux grass decor bits. I've got this cute little bunny and a couple of faux grass eggs. These were actually from Hobbycraft last year and I love them and they look really good in this room. So I'm going to put those there. I'm also just going to put something on my shelves in the kitchen just so there's a bit of Easter in the kitchen. I'm going to put this bunny pot that I got last year from Tiger. I don't put anything inside it, it's purely decorative, but I'm just going to pop it on the kitchen kitchen shelf there and there's also a matching little egg cup which I'm just going to pop next to it as well. It's just something really small but it just adds a little bit of Easter into the kitchen. Next thing I'm going to do is hang my interior wreath. So I have a wreath hook here, which is a handy little gadget that you just hang over the door. I'm going to hang it over my interior living room door so that it's really visible and everyone can see it when they come in. And here is the wreath I'm going to hang. This was from TK Maxx. I absolutely love it. It's so sweet. And I love hanging it on the hook here, just on the living room door so you can see it as soon as you come in. I'm not going to do an exterior wreath just yet. I do have a lovely lavender one, but it's so windy and wet and miserable that I'm not going to risk putting it outside. Into the living room now and I'm going to put a few things onto my shelving. First of all this set of lovely sort of speckled grey eggs. I don't know what colour to call them. I think they're grey, like a really off blue sort of grey colour but they're lovely. They're actually from Primark. I got those last year as well and I'm just going to pop them on the shelf here. And on the opposite shelf in the living room, I'm going to put my bunnies. If you're a long time subscriber, you'll know I've had these bunnies for about 10 years. I love them. These are a find from Poundland years and years and years ago. But I still get them out every year. And I'm just going to put my little bunnies on the shelf just here. Next up I have this cute little bunny jar that I got from B&M last year as well but they are still stocking them this year and I'm going to fill it with some artificial little mini eggs. So these are not edible, they are plastic, they're purely just decorative. I'm going to fill the jar with these and then I'm going to pop it back onto one of the shelves. The next thing I want to do is daffodils. I love having daffodils all through spring. They are such a sign of spring. So I've got this lovely jar here, although it's not actually a vase. This is a cookie jar from Ikea and I've just taken the lid off, but I love the nice chunky shape of them. I'm just gonna fill that with some water. I'm gonna get my daffodils that I got this morning from the supermarket. I'm gonna cut the ends off. Always make sure you cut the ends off your flowers or daffodils whenever you put them in a vase because it will make them live a little bit longer. You can also pop a penny in there as well and that will make them live a few days longer as well and I'm going to put these onto one of the shelves in the living room. <music> on 
on the little side table in the living room, I'm gonna change my candle for a hot crust bun candle that I got from Home Bargains. This smells amazing, by the way. So I'm gonna pop that lovely hot crust bun smelling candle onto the side table. And then I will also pop a little ceramic bunny that I got from Hobbycraft as well last year and a couple more of those moss eggs because I think they're just so cute. into my dining room now and I'm going to do my centerpiece on the dining table so I'm going to take away the flowers I'm going to keep that mat on there and I'm going to use these egg vases that I got a couple of years ago from Pretty Little Home they are literally my favorite favorite spring decor piece I think they are stunning I'm going to put some mini eggs in the smallest one and I have a cute little wooden scoop that I put in there as well that I found from Amazon and it just looks so cute together they never last long in this house but it looks really, really sweet when it's all full of mini eggs. In the medium vase, I'm gonna put these decorative Easter eggs that I got this year from B&M. I love the muted sort of pastel colors of them. So I'm just gonna play around with those and pop a few of those into the medium sized vase. Then in the largest eggshell vase, I'm gonna put this faux, I think this is called a Spanish moss. I got it from Cowshed Interiors. I will link it below. I'll link as many things as I can, but I love that and that is the centerpiece. Then back into the living room and the last thing I'm gonna do is pop these brown hanging Easter eggs onto my olive tree. Just something a little bit different, just to make the olive tree look a bit more Easter themed. I think I got these lovely brown eggs from either Amazon or Hobbycraft. Either way, I will link them in the description box for you once I remember where I got them from. But I love them. I love the fact that they're just really subtle and a nice natural neutral color. And I love the way they look on my little olive tree. I also got this egg garland from B&M this year, which is stunning, but I don't have anywhere really to put it downstairs. So I'm gonna hang it onto my eldest son's um, bed. He has hooks on the side of his bed that I often hang lights and things on whatever season we might be in. So I thought these would be perfect to hang there for Easter and he was thrilled when he saw them. He absolutely loves them. And there you go, I'm just gonna take you through all of the little bits that I did. As I said, I will link as many things as I can in the description box below. I just do a few little things around the house at springtime. It's not like it's Christmas or anything major like that, but I do like to celebrate the spring because it has been a long winter and it is lovely to see the spring come through now. But I really hope you enjoyed watching my springtime video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Click the subscribe button, I upload three videos a week and I will see you in my next video.